Tim, welcome to the podcast. Yeah. It's good to be here. <laughs> The great Tim just can't, comes in and sees the whole setup and went, it's got to phone my agent. Yeah. yeah, we thought you walked in, saw us, saw the studio and just immediately thought, I'm not doing this. Well, I haven't even got an agent. Yeah. <laughs> just need to get out of this room. It's, it's horrible quite, here. It's a it? very intense energy to walk into. <laughs> it's also as you walked horrible. in, it was dark. It's completely dark. Yeah, why was that? <laughs> Don't know, it's a power move from us. Yeah. So you walk in and feel intimidated, then we sit you down. Flat. Yeah. And you had all those sweets over there. Yeah. yeah, it's a horrible atmosphere in here. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a horrible place to work, Tim. Um, do you enjoy podcasts? Don't mind them. <laughs> this yeah. one's quite intense. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, just the three cameras and a, and a, and a glowing moon. This one's quite intense. Yeah, but this is was we, what we do. We like the cameras. So yeah. Three, three so, cameras. Yeah, three cameras. There's a lot of, there's a a lot of equipment in here, isn't there? Yeah. If it was up to me, I'd have more. Would you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah well, yeah. if it's up to you, this would be on telly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I tried. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Does look like that's the direction you're trying to get into. <laughs> Why are you filming your podcast with three cameras? <laughs> just put it further back. We could use one, can we? Just a wide, just one no, wide shot. Because we want the individual shots. That's what we no, want. It's gonna look oh, so right. good. Tim, it's gonna look so good. For the emotional yeah. bits. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right. Are you um if you what, wanna... am I what? Have you got a question? Yeah, I have. You ready for it? Yeah. Okay. Are you good at getting vulnerable? What do you mean? Gotta get vulnerable. <laughs> do you allow yourself to be vulnerable? <laughs> so in with the lights and all the cameras on you. No, I put up. I put, I put up barriers. Do you put? Why do you put up barriers? Um, oh, this is actually. He, actually he, 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 he went into it there. Yeah. yeah. He went into it. Yeah. Okay, that cool. was some real, I think that's, there's your glimpse. <laughs> I that was some, hey, some, real, some real sadness there. <laughs> Don't shut this window. Oh let's, God. Let's open it. Hey, it's breezy in here. Mm. Yeah. Why? Why do you put up barriers? What on podcasts? Yeah. Um, I don't really want to talk about my life on podcasts. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? My book. <laughs> I talk about my life with my friends and then my book on podcasts. If it's the other way around, it's absolute mayhem. Should we just get straight to the book? Well, I don't know. I mean, otherwise I'm spending the evening in, the, in, my, in my pub trying to sell my book to my friend. <laughs> Rather than talking about my disastrous week. <laughs> well, hang on. Do you, do you get vulnerable in podcasts? Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. You, you might listen to this, do you? you listen yeah, to I listen this? to it. Yeah, yeah. More avidly. What's it yeah. called, by the way? <laughs> It's called, it's called the Secret we Diary. The name, we change the name every time. The Secret Diary. Secret Diary of a CEO. Yeah. You be out of it? Oh, now that I do listen to. Yeah, oh, that's good. That yeah. guy's electric. Yeah, yeah. it's an electric atmosphere in there. Yeah. Would you get vulnerable if you went on that one? Oh, God, yeah, yeah. 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 Would you cry? Um, probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would do, yeah. Everyone cries when they go on that. Do, do they really? Yeah, I've not listened to it, actually, truth be told. Have you listened to anything? No. They, I've, yeah, I've listened to some things. Yeah. Of course I have. But okay, okay, talk to me I then. Listen to anything? That's insane. <laughs> By the way, we have to say something before we kick off. Tom had a real experience last night, didn't you? Oh uh, yeah. You should explain this. My, my flat got burgled last night. So? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, so? Well, if you go on someone else's mean, podcast, so? you tell they don't. I didn't the host telling me that my flat that his flat gets burgled. <laughs> no. I'm going to show you the picture of it. Look at this. I don't want to know. Tim, look at the door. I'm going to show you. Look at the front door. I'm going to show you. Here you go. You're going to like this. This is insane. Look at the front. So so what? Who cares? Do you look look, what what they take? Look Does somebody want to say? What do they take? They took all the cameras that you see here. <laughs> yeah, I've got I've got eight cameras in my flat. Were you they in took all of them? No. Right. No. Well, where's the story? Have no, you well, ever have you ever been burgled? Have you ever been burgled? <laughs> <laughs> no. And if I had, I wouldn't say. I think that's so rude to you say you've been burgled. Yourself. Yeah, of course. You think that's out of order to say that? <laughs> It's if too much. It's too if, vulnerable. I, I think so. If I had a yeah. podcast and I've invited yeah. a guest on, and I've got, open by saying, sort of, I'm, I'm, I'm sat opposite, you know, Stuart Broad. Yeah. I'm not opening by saying, Stuart Broad. Well, I would have him on. You've got, you got to aim high, haven't you? <laughs> Stuart Broad is out of nowhere. <laughs> Why are you picking Stuart Broad? Well, could, well, who would you have picked? Uh, uh, Michael Stuart Keaton. Bro Michael Keaton. <laughs> that's that's, a good, that's actually a good one. <laughs> yeah, Batman. Good one. Yeah, Batman. Right, so you've got Batman sitting here. Are you Keaton honestly telling him your burglary stuff? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know why? I think because it's worth it. How'd they get in? Here we go, here oh, we go. Force. Now he's opening up, uh, see? Force. Force? Yeah, they kicked the door down. Well, that is force, yep. Yeah. 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 You, so you, you've never been burglared before? <laughs> Have I said that? <laughs> I didn't hear it the first time. <laughs> I'm trying to think. This is like the ultimate podcast guest. That's what you do. You ask him a question and he passes it back at you. Yeah. I don't know if I've been burgled. How do you know? You might be. You, you might be. Know. Oh, you you might be being burgled as we speak. Yeah. Could be. Um, Where do you live again? Kentish Town. Kentish Town, yes. 
Ah, now they. <laughs> we'll beep that out. <laughs> beep, beep more of it in. Beep a postcode in. <laughs> Have I ever been burgled? Yeah. <laughs> I left the shower on once and had a flood. It's sort of like being burgled, isn't it? A little bit like it. That's way more mental. Oh, it was crazy. <laughs> why did you why, do that? Why did the shower... How does it... Do you not have a, a drain? Yeah. A drain? Yeah. <laughs> what? Is that the right question to follow up with? Is that how you have a bath? You yeah, but the it's door? not the same no, as leaving no, a bath no, on it's not it. how I have it's a bath. It's not the same as leaving a bath on, is it? Because, right, no. Because... Because it's a shower. Because the shower, if the shower's on, it's just all going down the drain. So right. how is it flooding the room? Okay. I turn the shower on. Yeah. yeah. Nothing. No water. Okay. Turn the shower off, <laughs> nothing. Turn it on, off, on, off. Crucially, on, then leave my flat. <laughs> Just quickly, are you naked at this point? No, I've got this on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, in the what? story? Yeah, in the story. Uh, probably, yeah. <laughs> Would be, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are you too naked? Do you, here's a question: Do you do you do you put the shower on and then undress, or do you undress and then put the shower that's, on? That's finally we're getting into. Here it. we go. That's a good question. Here we go. Um, what's what's the? Room? I think. Oh well, actually, truth be told, mm. um, <laughs> you're naked when I turn the shower on. Yeah, so you undress yeah. and then you then you turn the shower on. Yeah. No, but I think that's what most people do. That's what you just said. No, it, it isn't. <laughs> what did you say? What did you just say? I said I'm naked when I turn the shower on. Yeah. Mm. Right. Mm. Yeah. So don't put words in my mm. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you are. You're naked, yeah. right? Yeah. But towel round you. No. Oh, fully naked. Do you have a bath at your flat? Yeah. Yeah. How yeah. often are you jumping in there? Um, w- w- I'd say once a day minimum. Once a day? Wow. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah. Okay. Wait, just... so, I'm trying to get out of it. I mean, I start the day with a bath. <laughs> you sleep in it. It just it, it ruins everything. You start the day with a bath? I know. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit. And it is a bit. <laughs> <laughs> So when you and then so you're in the morning, you're in ice your bath. bath or hot bath. What, what are you talking about? Ice bath. You know people ice bath. Ice bath. Yeah, that's like athletes, isn't it? Wim Hof. Yeah, I know Wim Hof ice baths. You look a little bit like Wim Hof. Mm. He's got a long white beard <laughs> and a bandana. <laughs> yeah, you, exactly. It's uncanny. Yeah, you yeah. could be Wim Hof. I've got in a, a, in a movie about. Beard. Oh, no, I'd, I could play him in a movie. Yeah, inevitably, though. I could a movie. play anyone. Rick Rubin, you could play in a movie. Yeah, I could play Rick Rubin. Uh, yep. yeah. Who couldn't you play in a movie? I, who's Rick Rubin? The produ- the music guy. Oh, yeah. The, with the big beard. Yeah. yeah. Anyone with a beard, really, you could play. Yeah. Anyone with a beard, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. There's my demographic. <laughs> um, who couldn't I play? I don't know. <laughs> who couldn't you play in a movie? Mm. If you just pick someone, who couldn't you play? <laughs> hmm. um, Jack D. Jack D, yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be hard. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god Tim if, for anyone who doesn't know this Tim you and I became friends uh, and I, I'm, I'm putting it out there we are friends Is friends the word you would use 100% do you know what I would yeah you would thank yep. you very much yep. I, I honestly had the we did a TV show called House of Games <clears throat> which is uh, Richard Osman's show. It's an Osman vehicle. It's an mm, Osman. Yeah. He, d- did he develop vehicles. it? Did he develop it, though? I, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. So I don't think Osman needs people developing things for him. He's a developer. Yeah, he's uh, a developer. Yeah. I think he was a developer first. First and foremost, yeah. he was a developer. Mm-hmm. And then, you know... He moved into... If, and then he moved into what the opposite of uh, doing. Doing. He just did it. Yeah. And... Sitting. <laughs> Sit. we, we did a... We did this show... He folds down okay, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did this show together. You don't see him standing up on telly much. <laughs> no. <Go on> <laughs> we did this show together. And honestly, I think it was the best day of my life. So how it works is you basically have one day mm. and you record five different episodes in a day and it's spread out over a week mm. when it comes to television. And it's a quiz show, that's what it is. And it was it was returning, it was the Champions of Champions show. Yeah, I can oh. understand that part. Oh. Just, do you want a do you want a show? Nope. Mm. Yeah, so, so what's what happened there? I don't know. They just brought back your box office. Yeah, they just knew that the numbers. Yeah, phew, yeah. yeah, big time. Yeah, box office. It is the guy's box office? Yeah. <laughs> the empty You bars. can see with the cameras. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gonna go up. Yeah. Tim and I do it, and it was on. It's 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 a family show, mm. and straight from the beginning, I realised that Tim and I were going to be quite competitive in like yeah. a good way with each other mm-hmm. and with the show. Mm. Mm. And honestly, it became every episode became more of a battle between yeah. each. That's because you were quite a frustrating person to deal with. <laughs> yeah, so 
That's true. Yeah. It was honestly so great. Who else were you on with Michael Keaton and Stuart Broad? <laughs> yes, that was, that, was <laughs> that was the four. Four of us, yeah. But no, it was a no great show. Yeah. It was a great show, wasn't <laughs> it? It was a great show. Um, it was it was pretty good, yeah. I mean, I got some heat on Twitter. Did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you didn't. Mm. Why did you get heat on Twitter? I, I think people... people, people <laughs> they thought they were being serious. Yeah, people didn't... <laughs> Especially people didn't like the way I was treating you. <laughs> some heat about the way you're treating Jamie. Yeah. Because you were being mean to him. Yeah. It's, 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 are you serious? I'm, I'm serious. It's because he's box office. You can't treat... What I'm saying things hell? like shut the fuck up, but tongue in cheek. But it's 5pm. Uh, but, but at 5pm, yeah, people, people are thinking I should sort of let him have his say. Shut the fuck up. This, this poor soul. <laughs> it was so funny. Sweet daytime quiz show. Tim and I decided there was one moment when um, we were allowed to team up with someone mm. there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, but the person who's in last place gets to choose who he's teamed up with. Mm. So, so I'm not exactly choosing him, am I? So no. Tim was in last place. Sure. I was not in last place. Tim was in no, last place. No, Jamie Lang was in last place. <laughs> Tim, okay, I was in last place. Shock. Yeah. And I was like, well, and I looked across at the other people playing, <clears> and I saw Tim. Who Tim. were the others? Paint the picture. Who were the others? Others were. Who were the others? Others were. Who were the others? I don't know. I just said that. Um, who were the others? Were... Claire Balding? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> well, it wasn't one of them, so, so how, how can you think it was? It wasn't Claire Balding. Claire Balding. That's a big booking for House of Games. Gabby Logan? Gabby Logan. Uh, you're in the right ballpark. Gabby Logan. And then the other one... I can't remember. It, it was a while ago. Anyway, we. I look down the line, I see everyone, mm. and Tim looks down the line at me and mm. basically mouths to me, you fucking dare. <laughs> I went, I went, well, I'll pick Tim. I'm trying to win a dartboard here. <laughs> you want the dartboard? <laughs> oh my God, it was so good. Did you get the dartboard? Uh, got the dartboard, yeah. Yep, gave it to my friend. You did. Gifted yeah. the dartboard. Oh, but you gifted it? Yeah, gifted the dartboard. That's very sweet. Gifted the, uh, well, the walk-on luggage. Um, yeah. I, I won a second carry-on case so I could gift the other one yeah. to my friend's mum. Your friend's mum? Yeah, my friend's mum. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what's wrong with... That's insane to pick up on that. Your friend's mum. Why would you not give it... Why, I can understand that if I said it, my friend's donkey. Why would you give a gift to your friend's mum? Mum? Rather than your friend. You know what a mum is. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well he doesn't want one, does he? It's, it's, quite, got, it's got Osman's it? face all over it. This guy goes travelling. This guy's interrailing. Would it be quite odd if I won some luggage and gave it to Jamie's mum as a gift? I think that'd be quite sweet. Why did you think to give it to this mum? Well, I mean, why did, did I, why did I think to give the, the, the champagne bucket to another friend's mum? Yeah. <laughs> why are you, why why are are you obsessed you... with the mums? Yeah. God, you were, you were okay with the mums a minute ago. You've turned. Yeah, because you suddenly give another thing to another mum. Yeah. That's a bit weird. <laughs> I happen to like mums. Yeah, but that's weird that you gave it to another mum. Yeah. yeah. Keep it for yourself and then maybe give it to a friend. <laughs> maybe pop it up to your real mum in Impington. <laughs> Carol Key, it's her birthday tomorrow. Is it? <laughs> Carol Key. Say it properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, Carol, this show... You, did you win anything on House of Games? No, not that time. Not that time. Did you win anything the time before? Yes. Have you got it still? No, I gave it away on the show. To who? Whose mum did you give it to? I didn't give it to... I I gave it to... Claire oh, Balding. I, I, I wasn't Claire Balding. Who is the really great comedian? He has a moustache. Mike Wozniak. Mike Wozniak. Oh, yeah. Yes. He's fantastic. Get, oh, he was on your episode. And Mike Wozniak is hilariously yeah. funny. A friend of yours, I imagine. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God. I'd just be writing something for Mike Wozniak. He's so great. Yeah, the best. The be And the nicest human. Well, I don't like him as a guy, but, yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty despicable guy. Yeah, horrible guy. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fairly well documented. <laughs> But he, he looks a bit like a... Um, hey, easy. He looks like he could be a murderer. Oh, God, yeah. Moustache. Yeah. yeah that's from it. Norfolk, I yeah. think. From, Nor from Norfolk? Where's it, that come from? Is he not? Um, I don't know. I think he lives in, you know, Exeter or something, doesn't he? <laughs> no, does I he? said Norfolk. I think so. Oh, yeah, he does, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, I reckon. Anyway, yeah. he... <laughs> you reckon? <laughs> Must he, be. He... <laughs> He has a moustache, all these different things. Can you stop saying about this moustache? He does have a moustache. It, it sounds like you don't really rate him. Mm. I do. I rate him. But, but you keep moustache. on saying moustache. Mm. Well, it's his obvious feature. Yeah, I know it's his obvious feature. If you had a mm. Mohican, I'd keep saying he had a Mohican, but he has a moustache. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's, it's like you've got a beard, Tim. Yeah. That's your thing, actually. isn't it? Yeah. The Rick Rubin. Mike Wozniak has a moustache. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. no, one's, no one's disputed it, and you've said it ten times. All right, um, let me start the story again. Yeah, please don't start it again. Okay. Go in after the moustache. Okay, so I got burgled last time. <laughs> yeah, I hate that. Good. Glad. <laughs> Let's start this again. Let's start By this you. again. <clears throat> Have you ever done a podcast? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> no. Do you have a podcast? No, wait, hang no, on. No, I do. Well, yeah, I do, yeah. Wait, hang on. We're going to get into all this. We're just jumping around. Mike Wozniak. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Has a moustache. I yeah. won. The one that I won on House's Games. He, yeah. he looks a bit like a murderer. Yeah. I was going to win these driving gloves. Mm. So I won the driving gloves mm -hmm. and I said to Mike Wozniak, yeah. I'm going to give these driving gloves to you so when you murder your victims, Brilliant. there are no fingerprints. That's, That's fantastic. really good. Weirdly, it didn't make the edit. Wow. Did it not? <laughs> didn't make the edit. Didn't. Those bloody editors. <laughs> no, they took that straight out of there. And the, but, but Maybe it'll make this edit. But yeah... <laughs> They left in Tim telling you to shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no. I do not want to be they didn't in even, your fucking team. They didn't even beep it. <laughs> Don't bring me down with you. Like, so <laughs> I, the funniest thing that I find out that you get heat on Twitter, there was one really good moment when I said to you this before is that one of the questions to me was basically what is the biggest river in the States? The biggest and river. The biggest river in the States. And yeah. It was said, and it you know it's named after a it's named alongside a mud pie. Right. What are you talking? That can't have been the question. And that what? was the question. It can't. What do you say? The bit? Do you mean the longest? It's or? named after a mud pie. <laughs> no, what are the other? What are the other famous <laughs> mud pies? <laughs> it was named alongside. It was something like right. that. What was the question? Well, I don't know, but it can't have been this. Are you telling me? Yeah. Is, it, is, is, is what you're about to tell us that that yeah. was the question and you didn't know the answer? I didn't know the and answer. And I was furious. Mm. <laughs> well, of course I was. Tim, Tim <laughs> what is the longest river in America and also the name of a mud pie? Hard question. <laughs> yeah. Hard question. It, yeah, okay. What did you say? And I, when, it came, when it came up, and Tim and I in a team together, Tim straight away, because he's not allowed to talk, right? He can't say anything. He, he straight away went, break it down. <laughs> break it down. <laughs> break it down. <laughs> <laughs> I said, break it down. And I went... I, I went, I don't know. I was still just getting and, used to Jamie at this point. <laughs> yeah. As I went, takes some time. I went, I went, I don't know. And Tim went, he, fucking, he doesn't know. <laughs> how, how do you not know? <laughs> I think I'd be more zen with Jamie if, if we went on again now. Yeah. Now that I know. Now what, you understand. Now I understand how it all works. Yeah. Oh, okay. At the time, when you first get, when you first meet Jamie, it's a little, it's not easy. Yeah. Well, it's like when you first came into this room and you made, your instinct was to leave. Yes, and you, well, you did. You did leave. I did leave. Yeah, I got a phone call. Uh, sorry, made a phone call. Yeah, you came in and immediately spun around and left. Okay, because the atmosphere was, but, as you said, horrible. Well, I hated it. But yeah. I, I want to know the Tim. I want to know this big question for you. Yep. This is the actual question. First moment, first time, first period in your life where you fell in love with comedy. This is a serious question. That's, that's, a, question. A, that's a great question. So you're just, just, just flicking straight from fun into a serious that's question. The but who was it? Was it an individual? Was it a moment? There's always a thing that you suddenly go like, that was it. Here it is. Come on. Uh, a comedy on the radio. Really, was it? Yep. Uh, three shows. Uh, Hancock. Do you know Tony Hancock? Yeah. Listen to Hancock on the radio mm. when we're on car journeys. Mm. I found that very funny, that stuff. Mm. And then, you know. What, I don't know what that is. What Hancock, is that? Hancock. Ugh, this is Tony Hancock. It was written by Galton, Galton and Simpson, who also wrote Steptoe and Son and all that stuff. Yeah. And uh, Hancock was written in the 50s and 60s. The, the, the streets would, like, clear out when his radio show was on. People would go home and listen to his radio show. Mm. Yeah. That, that popular. This guy was enormous. Mm. Enormous radio star. And then it went on to TV. You, you'd in know the, the 50s and 60s? Yeah, you'd know the blood donor. He goes into he goes in to give blood. Um, do you, you don't know this. It's a classic. What, it's a what, classic do you, what do you mean? Comedy. What do, 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 do you know what? About? Forget it. Don't no. ask questions. Then <laughs> don't ask. Don't have Tim, people on. Tim, don't I want, have people Tim, on. I want to know. I'm I'm de I'm honestly desperate. Tony, Hancock. have you not heard of Tony Tony Hawk the um the um, <laughs> Tony the skateboarder? No, no, this isn't the skateboarder. This is Tony Hancock. Tony Hancock. Yeah. Honestly, do yourself a favour. Listen to the blood donor. Read a fucking book, Jamie. Listen to Twelve Angry Men. I like Twelve Angry Men. Oh, 12 Angry Men. It's like a pastiche of the... The, the play, the, as in the, the play. movie. Yeah, or the play, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And Hancock's in there, and they're, they're all on jury service, and some people want to get out, and some people want to stay in, and the conversation just goes on and on with one guy, because he's being paid to be there, mm. trying to keep the conversation going. Another guy wants to get out. Hancock in the middle of it, as the, the chairman of the jury. It's, it's half an hour of pure radio gold. Yeah. It, honestly, scripted it's... Scripted or no? Scripted. Beautifully scripted. And it stands up now. Do you still this listen? was written 70 years ago. Yeah, still, still listen, listen to it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's honestly, it's fantastic. And so you're in the car with the family listening to that. And that's yeah. what the thing you went, okay. Because I always find it interesting. Oh, I remember listening to that when I was very, very little. Yeah, I'm really liking it. 
in the 50s. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> this is in the 80s, mate. The <laughs> 1980s. Whoa, I thought, sorry. So okay, hang on, so, so you, 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 come out, you came out of the war. <laughs> I'm just trying to paint a picture of your childhood. Oh, you... What do you want me to say? Okay, <laughs> My, two Ronnies. I like the two Ronnies. <laughs> They're fantastic. I like the big one. I'm just trying to paint a picture of your childhood house. Yeah. My childhood so, house? So, so the, it's, yeah. it's post-war. There's Churchill, Churchill's post-war. on that. There's, yeah. there's a crackly radio. Churchill's yeah. on that. There's a guy trying to break in. Yeah. <laughs> there's an air raid going on. You're in the bunker listening to Hancock. There's an orphan running away with the telly. <laughs> I think it's just good to get a visual picture. <laughs> yeah. So we get this going on. Okay. Deary uh, me. Okay. What got you into post- comedy? Tony Hancock. And then okay. five minutes of you slating the guy. No, okay. So no, it's, we're not. It, look, it's post-war Cambridge. Post-war <laughs> Cambridge, yeah. Post-golf war Cambridge. <laughs> Idiot. Was Cambridge bombed a lot in the war? You'll know. Uh, I don't know. Do, 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 I don't care. I, no, I think they left care. Cambridge. We, did you almost say you care. don't care? I think, I think you're about to say you don't care. I think there was... I hey, think, we play that tape back. I think they avoided bombing Cambridge because they wanted to have Cambridge as a nice place. I think, have you heard that Oxford was going to be Hitler's home? Oh, I thought it was Cambridge. My bad. it's Oxford. No. So this is, I I am actually truly interested because I always think with comedians... Did he do House of Games? Go on, carry on, what? I always always think with comedians... That's right, it was me, JB, Gabby and Adolf. (laughs) (laughs) It's not held up, that episode. He got the fondue, sir. What is his name? What is his name? People say Hitler. His name's yeah. Adolf. <laughs> his name is Adolf. His name is Adolf. Okay. Okay. Because I always find with comedians, there's always a there's always that moment that you like you said, which is where you go, okay, I fall in love with comedy. But then when is the moment that you go, okay, I'm gonna do this as a profession? Oh, much later. Yeah. You can't really do it when you're seven. <laughs> okay. But you have to make that decision because you were at Sheffield University, you're I doing was. Russian. Yeah. And then the interesting thing about you is that you went back to Cambridge, weren't at university there, but did footlights. Did, yeah. Pretended. Mature, but you didn't yeah. pretend. He pretended I was at Cambridge. You pret- What the hell? Yeah. Okay, do, do, uh, don't break... I want to hear the f- whole story of this. Okay. So, so I... Really take it slow, because I want to hear all this. I real this. slow, okay. Really, really slow. So, uh, finished my um, degree in yeah. Sheffield, uh, first class honours. Go back to... Don't Cain. need that bit. Do, well, can look, cut it in the edit. Do we clap? Do we clap? Well, you do can do. It's just there if you need it. First class in Russian. It's good to have yeah. options. Yeah, yeah. So you can, you can leave that in or take it out. I don't care. Why do you study yeah. Russian? Well, we're leaving it in or taking it we're out. T- we're now going to leave we're it in. It makes no it sense in. if we take that out. So you finish with a first class degree in Russian. Yeah. Mm. From Sheffield. Yeah. You go back to Cambridge. Yes, sir. And you pretend to then be at Cambridge. Then I decide I want to do one more, you know, play something. Yeah. Get it out of my system. Yeah. And then do a job. Yeah. But um, so I I then think I don't want to do like fuddy duddy amateur dramatics. Mm-hmm. I think I'll get the student newspaper and see if there's auditions. Yeah. Masterstroke. Nice. And then I go and audition for a play. Yeah. And get into the play. Nice. And then I audition for a pantomime, which is the Cambridge Footlights pantomime. Yeah. And I get into that. And then also I've got a job as a um, you know, temping job. Mm. So I'm sort of scuttling away on my little bike, doing that, yeah. and then burning back down the hill to go to these rehearsals and stuff. It's a lovely image. It's just too much stuff going on. It's a lovely on. image. Oh, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, scuttling so then as well. I have to decide. You're cycling around It's Cambridge. too much stuff, so I have to m- lose one. And luckily I lost the play. Mm. If I kept the play, yeah, I definitely wouldn't be doing this now. Why um, did you lose the play? Um, I don't know. I think the play might have been a better bet. I'll tell you why I did the other one. Creative cause... differences? No. Create... We got on very well, but right. I only did one rehearsal. <laughs> then had to meet with the, the, the lady and say, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> and the other one, I just... Um, one guy I met in the, in, the, in the first rehearsal, I really liked that guy. Still friends with him now. I remember him walking in. We had a great vibe. A guy called Day. And Day. Day. That kept me there, I think. His uh, name is Day. D-A-Y? Well, how do you spell day? I don't know. D A I. D A I. His name's Could Day. Could be D E Y. Just Day. Day. His name's Day. <laughs> so I have this image of you scuttling up and down the hill on your bike, and then meeting a bloke called Day. Yeah, yeah Day. Okay, fine. Day. It just keeps slowing down. Every anecdote I'm doing, it's I just like slowing down. Yeah, Day. Sorry. Day. Okay, fine. Day. That's comes just in. a person in the story. Day. Day. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah but I'm getting an image. Day comes in. 
Day comes in. I like the look of Day. Mm-hmm. Oh, going back, when I, re- when I auditioned for it, I had to pretend that I was at studying at Cambridge. Okay. And so, so how do you do that? Well, what you do is you go into this sort of like waiting room thing. Yeah. And you're going to do this audition. Then you write down your email. And I'm looking at these emails and they all very much all have the same format. Mm. So Times New Roman. No, not mm. the font. The, not the, the font. No, the email not the address. Font, the email address. Okay. Yeah. Was it Tim Key at Oxford University? Well, right? my one was... Cambridge. Cambridge. My one was Tim Key... Well, I mean, mine was my uh, Hotmail. Which you still have? I do, yeah. Yeah. I almost gave my email out there. <laughs> Chuck it in with your address. <laughs> then... What is your email? Uh, well, I'll tell you what it wasn't. It wasn't... You can it wasn't, say it and then we'll choose it, 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 was, it wasn't tim.key at cantab.ac.uk. That's what it wasn't. And a lot of the people had, had adopted to go for one of those. Yeah. When I went in and, sh- and I gave them my email address, they said, oh, do you not have a, a college email address? And I said that they're still sorting that out. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Still sorting it that, out. Yeah, that, they're onto it. Don't worry. That phrase can get you out of a lot of issues. They're onto it. Don't worry about that. Wait, hang on. But this is this is really interesting because that mentality of like that sort of um, you you must have had like a not you just didn't care. It was an impishness where yeah. you just go. I and, think I can do a naivety almost. We're just like oh whatever. Yeah, I did think it was quite. I mean, it's like. It depends how you look at it, really. Mm. Either you sort of go, that is quite a maverick thing to do, or you go, well, it's literally just writing your email address. Mm. No, but it's maverick because typically at that age you're worried about getting in trouble or caught out, all those different things, but yeah. you weren't worried about those rules. Uh, just like, oh, go for it. Uh, yeah, I think I am quite worried about getting caught for things like that. Mm. Yeah, But then you do trouble. something like that. But which... then I did that. It felt quite... If it what's did the a... worst that's going to happen, though, if you get caught? You get chucked out. Yeah. Then we were doing auditions. For um, the main one, the, 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 that's the, like the sketch show that, that, you know, Stephen Fry and people yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. So when we were doing those auditions, um, there was like 12 of us and we had to like write in partnerships and stuff like that. Mm. I was still at this point not, um, I was not, I'd not been found out yet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then one of them, they said, oh, I had a college. My college was Sydney Sussex College. Yeah. Thought, You'd pick a college. Yeah. So you're, under, you're undercover in that. You are uh, undercover. I'm undercover. And you'd studied Russian as well. I had, and uh, my, <gasps> my degree at Cambridge was I was doing a PhD in um, the works of Nikolai Gogol. Sure. You have to have a... Sure. You've got to have a subject. <laughs> Jamie's pretty... Yeah. Jamie's, that's... Oh, weirdly, Jamie's pretty up. Yeah. Jamie's pretty up on that. Nikolai yeah. Gogglebox. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nikolai Gogglebox, yeah. <laughs> Answer smash. <laughs> uh, so I'm sort of walking around... <laughs> yeah. You know, got a top hat. Oh, you've got to have a costume. Sure. You've got to have a disguise. Sure. Um, then they had like a... You're carrying a pistol. Yeah, always carry a pistol. Yeah, I guess there's a deal in the offing. Then they say uh, what... Um, Listeners can't see, but it, Tim's got one strapped to his waist right now. Yeah. Yeah. And he's just tucked his jumper behind it so we can see it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Next to his Leatherman. Yeah. <laughs> Tasteful glimpse. Tasteful glimpse. Tasteful glimpse. I um, tucked his jumper yeah, just, so, just so we know that you're packing. Probably about a third of the way through the anecdote. Mm. They, they then, um, they said, How long is this going to take? Not no. long. Well, it depends. I mean, I I don't, we've, it. We've, spent, we've spent, honestly, it's not criticism, we spent 90 seconds spelling day. Everyone knows how you spell day. I don't think they do. Of course they do. No, because it, your day is a name. Yeah, so it changes when it's a name? Yeah. Right. <laughs> so if someone's called Destiny, how are, you, how are you spelling it when it becomes a name? <laughs> Sorry, but just be honest. We spent it stays the same. Seconds. Spelling day. Well, we did. And we agreed it was D-A-Y, and then you say it's D-A-I. <laughs> well, it could be. Oh but that'd be God. dying, Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm really, so I'm then they this. say, I'm here. I'm we're, having, we're, we're, we're going to have another meeting tomorrow, like another rehearsal yeah, thing, yeah, yeah, like yeah, audition yeah. thing sure. tomorrow. That's going to be in Sydney, Sussex. Mm. Okay. So that's, my, your, that's your college. That's my college. So my friend oh. Sophie says, "Oh, uh, I'll meet you in the Porter's Lodge because I don't know, I don't know where this room is." Yeah. So I say, "Yeah, okay." So we meet at this Porter's Lodge. You scuffle, you scuffle I find, scuffle I find where the Porter's Lodge is. Meet Sophie, and then we're walking through, and and uh, and I haven't got, I, I've never been to this college. I'm like walking through. Are you serious? This yeah. Is nuts. She's, uh, and and we walk around this courtyard, and we get to like basically a wall. <laughs> and I'm like scratching, but I'm like an, I'm like a character in a, in a in a computer game. He's sort of walking against this wall, 
<laughs> Somewhere, like in the Sims, <laughs> like in the Sims, walk left a bit and then walk against the wall a bit more, just <laughs> desperately looking for a door. Like, do, you, is, do you know where it is? Yes, I know where it is. It's around, of course, it's around here somewhere. <laughs> Eight minutes walking against the wall. Uh, okay. Anyway, got the part and got in. Wait, what happened? So you you, you got the part. You so came. then I got the part in this sketch show. Yeah. yeah. And there, was, there were six of us. And we wrote and, you know, performed it. And that was Stephen Fry, Hugh Laurie. Yeah. yeah, that was that. Adolf yeah. Hitler. Yeah, Emma Thompson. <laughs> Emma Thompson. Yeah. yeah, but that's huge. Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson. <laughs> yeah, Kevin Peterson. Yeah. Stuart Broad. <laughs> and uh, Shane Moore. <laughs> and Shane Moore. The late Shane Moore. It was a hell of a year. <laughs> the late Sean Lane. The, the late Sean Lane. <laughs> anyway, the point being. We then yeah. go to Edinburgh. Are we about two thirds through? Now, oh, I think Edinburgh. we're there. No, we're, we're there. not. We're there. No, we're not. Really? Come on. Not. No, we're not. I like this. This yeah. is great because this gets an insight into your life, and this is what I want. Yeah. You then take it to Edinburgh. Take it to Edinburgh. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Fringe. Fringe. Mm-hmm. Mm. How old are you now? Thirty-eight. Uh, for, now or well, then? <laughs> today. How old are you today? <laughs> How old are you now? What an amazing use of now. <laughs> Can you stop using that, saying now to mean then? Are you naked? Now, it's so true. It's so true. It's so true. How old were you then? <laughs> uh, this, well, is, one. this is nine, this is nineteen. This is nineteen. What's it? Nineteen? Anything? This is two thousand and one. Nineteen sixty. Okay, two thousand and one. So, okay, and <coughs> I was twenty-four. You're twenty-four. Yeah, and so that makes you. You then go up to forty-six. <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. <laughs> you then go up to Edinburgh. Yeah, go to go to Edinburgh. Uh, it's successful. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, we got nominated for an award. Which award? Uh, the Perrier Best Newcomer Award. Mm. That's, that's a big. big. That's a big award. It's a big award, yeah. Big award. Yeah. But yeah. didn't win it. What the fuck? Where's that come from? <laughs> I'm just guessing because you would have led with that. Yeah, you led, led with first you class honors. Who won it that year? Mm. Someone, someone big. No, uh, well, quite big. Um, he was called um, uh, Garth Crookshanks. Let's all have a hooli. Okay. Great. <laughs> I never, I never saw the show. <laughs> Okay, so then when do you get found <laughs> out? Could you not have said out there? When do you get found out? Oh, yeah. When do you get found out? Um, you know what? When my, when we when they cast me, so they said um, once we'd done this two weeks of rehearsing and aud- auditioning and writing with twelve of us, then I'm pulling it down to six, and they said after the last one, we'll uh, we'll put a, uh, a a letter in your pigeonhole. And let you know whether you you're in or yeah. not. So I have to stay behind again and go up to them and go, yeah, I'm not going to get to my pigeonhole later. So I don't have a pigeonhole, obviously. Yeah. So can you leave it in the theatre one? So they say, yeah, fine. So then I'm leaving this double lie. This is lie, lie, lie on top of lie. It's, like, a it's little bit. one sort of major lie, and then yeah. sort of you know just, sort of, smaller tributaries. Yeah, tributaries. Yeah. Great so world. then I'm in, I'm out with my friends because this is my hometown. So I'm just mm. with my friends from home. Mm-hmm. And then on the way home to the bus, mm-hmm. we take a detour. I pick up the thing and it says that, that I'm in. Wow. And then the next day, I'm at my friend's house watching the football. Mm-hmm. And then I get a phone call from the director. And he says, because we, we, it's our first uh, meeting that night, he says, we know. <gasps> yeah. Oh, my God. He, just, he picks up the phone and just says, we know. We know. And I say... Oh, you, you do? And he goes, yeah, oh. we know. So he then said, let's meet in the pub before we meet everyone else. Oh, God. And then we had a discussion over a pint. Yeah. And they said, we want you to be in it. Um, but we don't think we should tell the others. Yeah. Are you serious? This is wicked. Yeah. And so they were the only ones who knew. Mm. That's insane. Yeah. That's that's so that guy was a big uh, if he if he hadn't let you in, that would have been a big He was a disruptor. Yeah. And that was Richard Osborne, wasn't he's it? He's the Maverick with you. He's the Maverick. Brino, that's his name. Brino. B R E E N A O. N A O N A O. Brino. <laughs> okay, Tim, when was big question? Yeah. When was your first ever stand up gig? Oh right. Um well And what were you talking about? 
Well, this would have been around um, 2001, and uh, I talked about... Just past millennium. Just mm. past, yeah, yeah, squeak past. New new, new century. New, yep, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah, sorry, my bad, yeah, new century. Yeah. <laughs> so turn of the century. <laughs> yeah. The turn of the century. Yeah, yeah. The turn of the century. No, yeah, I can't argue with any of did this. Did you do some material about the turn of the century? Yeah, I did, yeah, did a little bit of stuff about isn't it mad, it's 2001. <laughs> What do you think people will be doing in 2023? Do you want an example of something I said? Yeah, we do. Sure. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. pretty. Sure. I go on it. I, said, I talked about dolphin-friendly tuna and saying, I don't care how well they got on with the dolphins. I mean, it's terrible. Say it again. I, dolphin-friendly tuna. Yeah, I don't care how they got on with the dolphins. <laughs> Did you say it like that? Yeah, angry. <laughs> to silence. Looking, while looking at the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Dolphin-friendly tuna. Yeah, I don't care how well they got on with the dolphins. You said it like that. No pause, just straight well, There's through. no point in pausing. What am I pausing for? Laughter. <laughs> Laughter. <laughs> I didn't even pause afterwards. Just said it again and again. <laughs> was it good, your first gig? It was fine. Okay. I think they always are the first gig. I couldn't use the mic. And have they continued to be fine? Uh, oh, I'd had a dip for about yeah. four years. <laughs> I, I did 10 gigs. I booked in 10 gigs. Yeah. And I'd say seven of them were <laughs> bad. Mm. Two of them were really bad. Mm. <laughs> and, <laughs> and and one was okay. <laughs> but then but then as a non And then I quit. I quit. Yeah. I quit. You quit. Yeah. Surely you you do a bit what why do you do 10? <laughs> if they, why why do you go okay I'm going to do 10 and then quit? Mm. Cuz that feels like quite a long time. That's no. A, feels the like opposite. a it wasn't enough. I think, I think what you do is you just do loads and book them in and book them in and try and work out how to do it. I just realised that I, so I, 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 didn't, I couldn't work out my... I felt very frustrated. Not frustrated. I felt like I, I felt like there was a chance I'd be able to do it. But at the same time, looking at the evidence before my eyes, mm. I mean, these people were fucking... Hate, they were hating it. Mm. <laughs> See, look, he... <laughs> they didn't enjoy it at all. And I'm stood yeah. up there going, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. be enjoying this. I'm like, yeah. these dolphins, these the yeah. tuna don't like You're the dolphins. You're just yeah, saying material it's, angrily to the floor. Yeah, yeah. I, t- mm. I talked about David Beckham, I think. Yeah. What did you say top, about David Beckham? Oh, I don't know what I said about him. I, I, the whole thing was wrong. The whole thing was... And then I, was, I remember being in, like... Was it wrong or your delivery was wrong? Oh, both. It was. I think, I think now I've got, like, a, a good, like, a, or, organic meeting of the two things mm. i like the stuff that i'm talking about and i think my delivery suits all that stuff mm. this was the opposite i think it was i was saying a load of crap in a bad way mm. <laughs> that's that's less that useful. makes a lot of but it makes a lot of sense yeah because we spoke of this before it, with mm. comedy right <clears throat> it's about fi- that voice that you have to find mm. that's because i think who, who, you know I, I spoke to a lot of comedians and they always say oh when they first start doing comedy you think you have to be this thing and then you realise actually that's not who you are, and then you have to start almost again yeah. to sort of build yeah. yourself. You you almost try and put on a persona to begin with. Well, I was lucky. I I um I went away and licked my wounds, mm. and then I started writing poems, little poems like short Love poems. Your poems. Mm, they're so funny. Well, then someone. Well, then we had a, then Alex Horn got married. Sure. So we went to his wedding. Sure. And at his the wedding, horn, the horn section. The horn section. Yeah, fantastic, wonderful, mm. yeah. so good. He's a developer now as well, isn't he? Uh, deve- what, like getting his Osman on? Yeah, oh, yeah. Was that, who was that? Was that your? That's your uh, your ankle tag went off, Tim. <laughs> who was that beep? What do you mean that beep? <laughs> Is that your ankle tag? Tim, do you need to go? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you've let the shower off. Good point. Can I go? <laughs> we've got You're not six, allowed to go. We've got six more parts. Yeah, we've got six more parts. Okay. To Just go. cry and then you can leave. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you cry, just cry, Tim. Um, I can cry about this stuff actually, if yeah. you like. Okay, okay great. Yeah, yeah, um, oh, here but, he's gonna go. Here um, go. So, hang on. Horn. Oh, can you oh, just yeah. uh, get look down camera one? Horn, horn, horn. The horn. cameras don't have numbers, do they? Yeah. <laughs> no, they don't. They're not even on. <laughs> They're We're not, not even. even on. We're not even doing a podcast. <laughs> we decided at this wedding that we needed to like do some more stuff. Yeah. We'll meet more regularly, pals. Sure. So we you started, and Horn? No, without Horn. I oh, know with Horn actually, but Horn, we, Horn wasn't in this discussion because he was somewhere else, sort of getting married. Yeah. This is us at the bar. Oh, okay. So then Who we are you with at the bar. Um, uh, Brie now. Okay. Day. Day. Yeah. Day. Day's there. Yeah. Day's there. Day's there. Shit. Day's still in the picture. Day's in the picture. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mark Owen. Mark Owen. No. From Take Mark That. Owen. Mark. Mark and Owen. Mark, Mark Owen. No, no. Mark. 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 Owen. Brie now. Owen. Owen. 
Owen. Okay. Oh, so Mark and Owen. Mark and Owen. Okay, okay. Not so you to got be confused with Mark. So Owen. you got Mark Owen. Yeah. Day and now. Yeah, and Jason Orange. <laughs> <laughs> Say it down the mic. I'm Jason Orange. <laughs> Say it again and look at camera one. I don't, they don't have numbers. Okay, so you're. <laughs> I'm never going to look at those cameras. I hate those cameras. Come on, let's do this. You, like, you look like Leonardo DiCaprio when you do that. Do I, don't look, I, don't, well, I look like Leonardo DiCaprio yeah. when, when he can't see my face. <laughs> your impression of Leonardo DiCaprio can't be, can't be that. <laughs> when you pull your cap down, <laughs> put a bag over your head. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, what have I got? Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio's <laughs> neck? Just the cap. Just the fact that you're wearing a cap. It's another example. This anecdote is like, I've been doing the anecdote now for about 20 minutes. <laughs> we like it. It's yeah, good. I'm trying to get out of here. No, you're not. Yeah, you. well, I am. What have you got to do? Don't tell me where I'm trying to get to. What have you got to do today? I'm doing some live. I'm doing a live show. Where? <gasps> where? Uh, Angel. Oh, my God. Tonight? Yeah. Big time. You gonna go home first or straight? No, there? I'm not. I've bought my stuff. Don't worry about that. Wait, hang on. We we, we just gotta get this. So you can, mark. Can we come? Orange. Yep. You mark orange. No, not mark orange. <laughs> okay. This is pointless. No, it's not pointless. It's completely pointless. It's not. I'm doing um, a very simple anecdote. Okay, go to okay. the anecdote. So lasts, the lads are, I, the... I said that this anecdote lasts maybe 45 seconds. <laughs> so yeah. far, it's about eight minutes. With you, with you keep. keep <laughs> you just said mark orange. Who is it? Justin. So orange. why have you said Justin orange? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Deary me, and you wonder why I don't want to be in a team with you. Oh, you're going to be. I think we're close to tears now. Yeah, I am close <laughs> yeah. to tears. The wrong tears. Angry that's tears. a phrase. Okay, so the it's you, tears. Owen, and the It doesn't matter who it, it is. Does. No, the it lads. doesn't. Let's just say okay. the lads. Okay, the lads. The lads. You've got, you've got Horn is somewhere getting married. Right. The lads are there. Matt, Horn, Horn, Matt Horn from Horn and Corder. Matt Horn. He's got his brother's Horn called, Corder. No, his brother's called Matt Horn with one T as well. Same spelling. No, is, is, it the, is, is it the Matt Horn from... Different Matt Horn. This is pointless. Jamie, tell your Matt Horn story. He's oh, got God. a good Matt Horn story. No, can, we say, hey. can we say where people can buy the book? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Does this feel like hospital radio? It feels like hospital, like actual <laughs> hospital. So I, don't, I haven't had this sort of experience since I was. I, was, I, I once since you I, were bed bound. I, I, I once had to like drink. I, th I don't know what it's called, but like a, some kind of weird milk before you go into an MRI. Uh, what? That was that was better than this. Who's your Who's your doctor? Well, Is he a licensed? What do you want to meet my doctor? <laughs> Just... It's Doctor Paul Nathan. Oh, okay. Now you're fine. Now, how are you spelling Paul? <laughs> P A I L. It's a name. <laughs> okay, hang on. All right. You and the lads. So you're at the, you're at the it's wedding. It's Horn's wedding. Forget about that. No, we <laughs> liked it. Then we went, then we go to the pub. Yeah. Mm. A few weeks later. Which pub? The uh, Ye Olde Cheshire Cheese. I love it that you remember it. Yeah. Where's that? Uh, Fleet Street. Okay, great. Great. <clears throat> no no All the journalists are in there. Uh, probably, Piers yeah. Morgan's Traditional. knocking around at this time. Traditionally, yes. Yeah. Mm. 2001. Yeah, why yeah. not? Great. News of the world. Alistair Campbell, probably. Now, there's yeah. a podcast. There is a podcast. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Have you been on that? Uh, don't, no. I you don't, don't think no, so. No, I haven't. Don't. You don't know if you've I don't been know. on it? I don't know if I've been on that political podcast. <laughs> I don't know. Have you been on it? I don't know. I don't know if I'm friends with um, Rory Stewart. I don't think I am. <laughs> okay, okay, so, so you're, you're, on on you're on Fleet Street. Right, then uh, we decide we're going to do something. We're gonna, that'll be what we do, is do things. Mm. Hack, the first thing we decided phones. to do was to... What? Hack phones. Not hack phones. No. We decided we'd do a gig. Oh, okay. In Breenow's Lounge. Mm. Yeah. And so we decided we'd do this gig called Live in Breen's Lounge. Mm -hmm. And we would have 50 people there. We'd have stand up. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mike would, would sort out the guests. So we wrote emails to all our friends and said, Do you want to do this? First come, first serve. They write back. Then Mike writes written invitations in sort of ye olde writing. Uh, yeah. writing that's everyone. great. I love um, that. Right. So they, that's our audience. Calligraphy. It's to get in, you have to bring a pie. Calligraphy, yeah. Good thing to say. To so bring you, have to to get, you bring a pie. <laughs> yeah. To, to get in, you bring a pie. Then all the pies go in the kitchen. And then oh, at half time, you have these pies, pies. and you can eat this each other. This is great. I know it's great. That's, that's why I'm saying great it. Great idea. Right. Love this. This is a great anecdote. Keep going. Okay. So then, well, fortunately, amongst our group, there's people who are good at this this stuff. Yeah. Mark Watson is is uh, our MC, I think. Yeah. Um, Alex Horn is there doing his stuff. Yeah. And then we get um, Owen, 
out of Mark and Owen. And Justin. Yeah. Owen is going to do his last ever gig because he's done some stuff at the university, but he's sort of retiring. <laughs> He's dying. He's doing his last ever gig. No, he's retiring. Okay, he's not, he's not he, dying. Okay, that yeah. would have made it dramatic. Well, do you want me to make it dramatic? No, you don't need to. Don't want you to lie. So okay, then we've was, got. Why was he saying it was his last ever gig? Because he's done with dramatic. it. Yeah. Who does he think he is? Elton John. I know, but uh, but to be fair, he did do some other gigs afterwards. But anyway, yeah, mm. like Elton John. Like Elton John. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we can link him to Elton John. <laughs> yeah, he's been on the farewell tour for about ten years, hasn't he? Oh, in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, played the, he played the O2 Indigo yeah. last week. Uh, Tim Livesey, another guy. Yeah. He's a teacher. Livesey, yeah. He says, I'll do my first ever gig. Wow. So he's on there doing his first so ever got gig. someone doing their last gig, someone doing their first yep. ever gig. And then we get um, uh, Paul Foot to, uh, to, to headline right. it, because we've met Paul Foot and we all love Paul Foot. Yeah. Mm. And then they're asking me to do my stand-up, but yeah. I've retired. I've done my last ever gig. Yeah. But I've got these little poems. Yeah. And I say, I'll, do, I'll read the poems. Sure. So... On the night of the gig, we all come. We all come in from the through the window into the lounge. So I'm waiting in the garden. What? And, and uh, Mark's on stage. Mark brings me on, and I come on with my little um, notepad with my poems in, and I put some um, Soviet lounge music on, <laughs> and I'm wearing a suit, and I open a can of Red Stripe, and I read out the poems, and it's all there. And that was it. That was the moment. Everything was in place, mm. and so I'd done it. Before that, ten times where nothing felt right and it was a, a constant source of horror. Yeah. And then this one time I did it there, admittedly, the definition of a home crowd, but everything seemed to work. Mm. But why did it work there? Because um, I don't know why. I just was lucky. Just got lucky. I didn't think that's And that's my, that's my act now. But that's exactly, that's just, my act that's 20 exactly years your later. act now. Is it yeah. really? Yeah. Yeah. The red stripe and the music. Yeah. and the... It's exactly the same. Yeah. Because because that's fundamentally you. Yeah, um, I I don't know. I th I think sometimes I feel like. Um, what's useful with 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 having an act like I've got is, it's sort of an, a framework to just kind of. Um, you just sort of lean on on that as a framework. The poems are there and all and the music and stuff, and it means I can be kind of quite free amongst it all. You can mm. just you can do whatever you want to do around all that because you have the structure in place. You have that pole exactly. So mm. I can always go back into it, and you know. You know, not more sort of um, conventional stand up still has that. Mm. You know what you're going to say and stuff, but then you can, go off piste and talk yeah. to people and stuff or go on little flights of fancy. I just feel I mine's like... I love that, flights of fancy, that's mm. great. Yeah, but the thing is with, with my one, I can come back to it in a really s clipped way mm. where I just come straight into it. I change the track, reset the so whole funny. thing and then start my poem. And When uh, did the fridge thing start? Was that just the show but, that, but that, set that you're up, doing? Set this up, what do you mean the fridge thing? Well, I saw you in Edinburgh last year, the year before. Yeah. And you did the show where you have a, here's a, a mini fridge on stage. And yep. you take beers out the fridge and you give them to people in the audience. Yeah, I do do that. Actually. Is that yeah, something well. you had, you've done for a while? Or was uh, that just that show? No, that was for this show. That was I, really funny. Yeah, I have... You just honestly, chuck beers at funny. people. I have like a bit... I have a... Yeah, this show, I have a, a door. Was it, was it that show? Yeah, the yeah. door and the... It was yeah. the lockdown one. Lockdown, yeah, yeah. Yeah, So I have a door on stage mm. and, you know, 20 minutes in, I push the door over and it smashes on the floor and then... Sounds like my flat. We're not going to get into that. That's exactly what happened to my flat. Have the police come? Oh, yeah. What did the police make? No, about? hang on. I want to hear this. I want to, I want to know about this. Okay, we're going to go back not, I couldn't, This I is real life. I couldn't not say it. You, you just, you just yeah, so described what, what my did, flat. So what did they say? Smash door. Yeah, totally. Do you, uh, uh, 40 minutes later, do you lift the door back up? <laughs> anyway, the point being, now my act has developed and I make shows and things like that. And they tend to sometimes have like a kind of big prop mm. domestic prop mm -hmm. i did one where i was in a bath i did have a bath yeah. <gasps> here we go yeah, yeah. I had a bath. Why, do you, why do you like the domestic prop i don't know oh i think because it one, looks funny you that was quite spectacular having a bath we we, we made and we made tour a around with a bath yeah that's a lot of effort you have a van we emptied it um yeah <laughs> you drained it <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, we toured around with it. In a bath. We made a bath. We got some, you know, some people to make it. We, sure. we, we, we bought two baths and they cut, cut, 
cut them into like a two thirds and two thirds and uh, put them together. Put them together so that I could lie in the bath and completely disappear. <laughs> disappear. Yeah. So that because in the show, after like twenty minutes, I I put my head in the bath, and when my head's in the bath, there's a big screen behind me, and, and my head goes into water on the screen, <laughs> and it's because we filmed it all in a, the place where they shot where they filmed the uh, Born Supremacy. In, really? Um, Sorry. What? Okay. Sorry. I don't know where it is in Essex. I don't know what's happening. Right. Okay. Well, there's a water tank, so you yeah, know, yeah, okay. yeah, so, yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm just trying to explain how my show works. The Born Supremacy. I don't know. Ultimatum, maybe. Born Supremacy. Same, Matt, same studio. Matt, um, <laughs> what's his name? Have you Matt, seen, have you seen Matt, Titanic? Matt Hancock. Matt Han- no, this guy. <laughs> Matt, no, Matt Damon. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and later on in yeah, the show, yeah, yeah, I yeah. dive into the bath, mm. and when I go in, I go under, and there's a lighting change, and on the screen, I dive in to this other underwater world, and I'm swimming around, and there's a mermaid oh and stuff. Yeah, oh, that's funny. And that's, yeah. oh. that was like a yeah, that was a big sort of production. Yeah, but but with with that, just with that sort of freeness that you have, this is again a serious question because because you have that security of returning back to the poems and almost the script, right? Yeah, that freedom to go off. Yeah, then flexes what you have, which give you it's your funny bones. Yeah, so you get to then just be you get to find out what you basically get to trial comedy. Yeah, while having your script in place. Yeah. Which is so pretty amazing. Particularly when I'm like starting on a new show, that will mm. be me and like, you know, the Bill Murray or somewhere mm-hmm. where you have like, which is a, a place in Angel in um, mm-hmm. in London. Mm. And uh, so in that one, and I'll probably do this next year, I'll go that down there with uh, 50 poems that will all be new that I haven't read out. And I'll just read them all read out, them out and see what sort of comes about. And then gradually, that'll be the start. And then by the end, it will turn into something with 20 poems. There'll be things which have which have happened in the development like of the show. But I feel like the shows have become, quite... Yeah. Do they always have quite a bit of audience interaction? Yeah, talk a lot to the audience. Yeah. yeah. Because, Tom, that's just, your You're so good well. at that, though. Thank it's you. It's so funny when you talk to the audience. It's enjoyable. Tom, Tom, to Tom you do that. You, you... I like to, I like to, but only because it's just more... For, for us, it's more interesting. Mm. It's because it's different every every. Do you night. do a lot of comparing? I I have done, yeah, mm. yeah. Comparing. Did you did you do right? a lot of that? None. I th- I, I I I watch a lot because obviously when you're on a bill, yeah. And I do think I'd like. That was Russell Brand. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Similar. Yeah. <laughs> it's the beard. Yeah, it is the beard. Yeah. And the backstage <laughs> behaviour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, it was Daniel Kitson. That's who it was. Was it? Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. He does a lot of comparing. He's the best. He, uh, he, um, Is he, he compared good? this gig while he took a cup of tea on stage with him. Yeah, he always does that. And just was unbelievably funny yeah. com- talking to the audience and just drinking tea. Why? Because it was, it, it was just so why good. Why is that funny? Just in terms of why, why is that distraction funny sometimes? Oh. Just because he just, it just makes him look like he just doesn't care. Yeah. He's got a very, he's a, a very laid back vibe. Yeah. yeah. He's got, the, beer when he's does that, the beer does that on, for you as well. Yeah. It's it, that, that sort of it's very free and it easy. relaxes the audience mm. doesn't yeah. it it's very chill but it's super chill but yeah it's super chill actually yeah yeah it? but to just uh, talk because you we do need to talk about your book there it is here we go big guy come on and you've got to sign it down it. camera one you, you've got to you've got where's camera one can you can you can you first no, i need no. that signed no. Yeah. But secondly, I need you to read some stuff from it. Oh, yeah. I'll read one out. Can oh, we okay. read something? I just want to know because you... I, I like the design. On your Instagram, it's, it's great. You you have all your perms that you do and you put them on your Instagram and things like that. And, and I'm sure Twitter as well, but I don't really use Twitter. Um, how, therape- do you, how therapeutic is it for you to write the poetry? Oh, yeah, very much so. You love it? Yeah. I find writing like quite is quite a tough, quite a hard thing to do. Why? Uh, well, like as in like writing a film or writing a, a a tv show or something like that that's quite difficult mm. you know na- narrative stuff and structure and working out how it all should be whereas poems just feel like i can sit down have yeah. no idea what i'm gonna do write you have a, do you have a, a sort of something you try and stick to where you do one a day or uh, no it just goes in waves sometimes yeah. i'm really 
writing all the time mm. and other times just have like a few mm. few days where I don't write any. But but what is amazing? Will you this, read one for us? Start at the one. beginning and go to the end. Yeah, I'll do it. Hold up. Just, <laughs> just, oh, no. <laughs> just do the whole thing. Tim, this is Tim's uh, yeah. book. Tim, just, but, but down camera two, Jimmy. Tim Key Chapters. Yeah, Tim Key uh, Chapters, yeah. It's yellow. Oh, good. Yeah, exactly. It is. <laughs> uh, you can buy it now. Yeah, buy it. You can buy it now. Not on, in shops. On no. You on can, what? what? Where can you buy it? Buy it now on uh, Amazon. No. Nope. Have you done an audio book? <laughs> yeah, I did do an audio book last week actually. Okay, you can get the audio book on Amazon. Nope. <laughs> get, get, let's start that a bit again. Nope. No, go and get. Keep all this in. I would go and get Tim Key's. <laughs> go and get. Yeah. Go and buy. Go and buy. Yeah. It's all free. It's all free. Go and, go and get Tim Key's chapters for free. Yep. On audiobooks. Mm, okay, but not a bad have a look. <laughs> summary. <laughs> um, I like it a and lot. This is a bit of the old calligraphy that you like, isn't the, it? Uh, again, good use of calligraphy. Yeah. But, uh, but that I, is what that is, right? It's not calligraphy per se. I don't think it is. It's like just nice design, isn't this it? Is yeah. your, typography. This is your sixth book. Wow. Some lovely quotes on the back. Gotcha. Love that. So yeah, this is you your like sixth that. book. Yeah. Quotes. Some lovely yeah. quotes on the back. Mm, I don't know. Should we put. Well, you can, put... can I quote something on it? Yeah, what do you want to say? Um, make, make the only quote on here, Jamie Lang. <laughs> that would actually be very funny. <laughs> you should have done that. Does that look like it sort of needs a quote? No. So I know I'm smacking tr it tr around. Tr truthfully not. No, I, I actually... Um, th this is the truth of it. This I mean, is, this is um, really sellable. Right. I, I... <laughs> what? <laughs> Buyable. What do you want to be... It's, it's, it's attractive. Attractive why? I'll tell you why. This has turned into an ad agency. Yeah. I don't mind this. This is good. Yeah, I'll tell you why. I'll the book you... is front and centre. Yeah, I'll tell you why. Keep Tim, I, it. Tim Keep I'll tell you, it. Let, let me tell you why we're excited about you. <laughs> yeah. Um, and why we think we can sell your book. Yeah, yeah perfect. Go on. <laughs> yeah. Jamie, um, do you want to start? Okay, yellow, attractive colour. People like it. It brightens your day. Like it's a like, lemon. Like a lemon. Yeah. Smell of lemon. Yeah. Uh, Tim Key straight Also the there. colour of madness. Oh, yeah. Okay. And envy. Or yeah. jaundice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and, and, and my jaundiced it's, anthology. It's, it's also very clean. Yeah. yeah. Well, all books are clean. No, but this, but clean is in like empty. You're gonna do a hardback? Uh, no, I think I, I don't think I people like do a soft a back and then make a hardback after. Do Paperback they? to soft. No, it's normally hard to paper. People don't go in that direction. Do you think we should keep releasing versions <laughs> of this that are harder and harder? Look at this uh, metal you, one. There, there's and it says in there no dedication. Uh. Does it? Okay, it says no. <laughs> it says in the front today. It says, it says, yeah, in the front it says no dedication. Oh yeah, we've added one. This is a proof copy. We've added. Oh, a, that's a, even better. Yeah. That's what oh, I want. This is not a proper one. No, no, the one that they're they they are printing as, as we, we speak. speak. How they many? To, uh, Two thousand. Uh, How many think you're gonna sell? Two hundred. How many do you think? <laughs> what do you reckon? Uh, well, Let uh, me ask this. How you... many did you sell of your book? <laughs> How many did you sell? <laughs> Have you not read? Uh, well, how many did you sell? I, I, I honestly, it's embarrassing how many, how little I sold. Do you know how, how many, many did you, you know sell? how many you sold? I really think I, yeah. Do you I, know how many you sold? I, oh, I don't know. I, I, yeah, you do. I signed, I signed a lot. Yep. How many did how you, many you sign? Did you and sell? I don't think I completed all. <laughs> and you didn't sell all the ones that were signed? Do you think it devalued them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> Let's put a quote to the front of the. <laughs> what are you doing this morning? <laughs> Tipexing out my signature <laughs> on 300 books. Thousand, three thousand. <laughs> you signed three thousand books. Three thousand books. And yeah. did you sell them? And no. you didn't sell three thousand. I don't know how many I sold, but I think it was about four thousand, three thousand. I think 000. I sold three thousand total. What's, what's wrong with that? That's good. Or maybe two thousand. Okay. I've got no idea what, what. I don't know. I, I don't know. Good. I don't know what a good number of books to sell is. If you sell ten thousand, yeah, you make it into the top ten times best selling this. Do you really? I think so. Ten thousand yeah. total. Yeah, in a week. Oh, in a week. Maybe two weeks. Oh. <sighs> huh. How you know are... all this. Are you all acting as if you look at the little smug little smug. Oh yeah, no, my last one got into the, the top ten. Sure. <laughs> yeah, we go. But it was the Saturday Times. That's different. Tim, that's bigger. Oh, explain okay. to me the economics of this. How much money do you get for every book sold? <laughs> well, that's a very, very pertinent question. <laughs> we will get so um, Are you on an upfront or a revenue share? This is the thing. Um my friend Jamie, I... thankfully, was on an upfront, not a revenue share. <laughs> what was your upfront? <laughs> I actually can't remember. Can you? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I think you can. And the only thing I can tell you, it was embarrassing. 
that's what well, the, the art front was embarrassing. No, no, the whole thing was embarrassing. Oh, was it? Was the was the was the? Did you get paid too much? I think I got paid too much. Oh, yeah. fantastic! Yeah, it was really embarrassing. I think we're the other way. <laughs> I think the whole thing was as embarrassing. The whole thing of my one was embarrassing. But hey, pass out, Tim. Can you read some stuff? For I'll us? read a poem. Okay, one of your favourites in there. Oh uh, well, whatever. I mean, no, not whatever. Well, why don't you just give me like a page number or something? Forty-nine. Is it simple as that? <laughs> simple as that. Sorry. All right, no, change it. Straight Thirty-two. In. Well, hang on, 49. 49 and 32. No, 92. No, 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 don't. 32. Just pick. I'm looking for the 32. I want Amsterdam and dating. Do you? Yeah. Do you know that That's a chapter. I know it is. You just looked at it. Oh, yeah, okay. I want Amsterdam and dating. Don't worry about it. I do my research. Oh, okay. So do you want one about dating or Amsterdam? I want one about Amsterdam and then one about dating. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. Uh, So one about Amsterdam first, then one about dating. Mm. Okay, so this is um this is a this is a, a set in Amsterdam. Do we have any Soviet lounge music? Oh, you know? I wish. Add it on after. I wrote this. Do you want a red stripe? Can do. I wrote this in Amsterdam. Um, this poem's called "My Orange Life." One. I oh, found. Justin, sorry, just an me, orange. What, what the fuck is that? Are you joking? <laughs> just an orange. Just an orange. After I'd said, I found. Okay. Can't. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. What do you mean? Am I ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. You were the one who should okay. said just an just an orange. Okay, just an orange. Here we go. In your own time. Yeah. In your own time. Well, obviously. Okay. I'm ready now. Okay. (laughs) Come on. I said I'm ready. It's comedy gold, Tim. Come on. Okay, fine. Let's go. It's Hancock's hour sort of stuff. Half hour. (laughs) I found myself in Amsterdam of all places. I quickly got stoned off my tits and scuttled into your friend of mine, the red light district. That place, honestly. I kept banging on all the windows telling anyone anyone who'd listen I was in love with them. Ultimately, one of the entrepreneurs asked me to put my money where my mouth was, and I retreated to a gallery to lick my wounds, stroke, appreciate Rembrandt's latest offerings. I almost fell ill sat before the big man's pictures. I tugged on my latest doobie and squinted at the sheer competence at play here. I was in a blissful state and my mind turned to thoughts of what paint actually was. Who exactly dreamed up making thick, colourful liquids and splurting it onto canvas? Why the hell was red red? I love that. That's great. That's great. That's great. Can I just ask... Just How did for... it end with the red light lady? Did uh, you go back? I don't think I went to the red light district. <laughs> Have you been? <laughs> it's not what I've heard. <laughs> well, I haven't slept with a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why would you? Well, why would why would I? Yeah. You I mean, what do we? What I mean, honestly, don't you think you'd feel a bit rubbishy afterwards? <laughs> a bit rubbishy. Famously, you do, don't you? Okay. Sleep with prostitutes. <laughs> yeah. You feel rubbish afterwards. <laughs> Wait. I do want to ask a okay a naive question. Oh yeah. When mm. it comes to a structure, where's Amsterdam? <laughs> yeah. When it comes to a structure of a poem. Oh God, yeah. Okay. In terms of the rhyming and the. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go for a minefield. Here we go. Tears. He's welling up what now. What defines a poem? A poem. Amazing. Amazing question after I've read a poem out. <laughs> yeah, I know. Can we go? Well, it sounds like an accusation. Because that's more like a short story. Yeah. It's, it, they don't rhyme. I'll give you that. There you go. Do you do ones that rhyme? Um, there's one that rhymes, I think, in this one. One? I think so. It's either one or zero. Um, oh, yeah. This one rhymes. Okay. okay. Jack D swallowed his B. He came to me. I used my brie to lure out the bee. I charged Jack a small fee, £12.93. That rhymes. That rhymes. That's great. That's sort of just to prove I can do it. That, that is great. great. Yeah, that's like when you go to a gallery and there's all sort of naff pictures <laughs> and then there's one where they've done it properly. And you're like, that's insane. Yeah, you can do it. I if can you, if do you go it. to the Picasso Museum, mm. yeah. it's all like mad stuff where there's like a nose on an ear. Mm. And then there's a bit where he's drawn his wife, and you're like, yeah, so you can't. That's do the it. frustrating he thing can't about do it. it. Yeah. Oh, so you feel frustrated, and then you're like, no, he can do he it. He can do it. He yeah. Do he just doesn't. It. He chooses not to. Okay, yeah. read us another one. Okay, this one's about dating, then, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm, hang on. One second. Um, dating in Amsterdam, or just dating? Um, Would we call that dating in Amsterdam? The, what you were doing in Amsterdam? Um, well, I that wasn't dating. No, dates, I was there. What was I doing? I was writing, I think. Research. And watching cricket. <laughs> I like the funny thing, banging on the window, trying to talk to the entrepreneurs. <laughs> the entrepreneurs. <laughs> this one's called... This one's called... doesn't matter what it's called. It does matter what it's called. A thorny situation. Oh, wow. I sat with my single red rose. My date had unfortunately stood me up. Now I was staring down the barrel of sleeping with this damn rose. 
I poured a gin and tonic over it, crumbled some beef hula hoops onto its petals. The bar staff were all gawping at me, of course, making smart-ass comments too. I exited stage left. Come on, Beryl, I asserted. We're out of here. And now the bar staff started starting... And now the bar staff started using that as ammo, having a go at me for naming my flower. Making all sorts of comments about Beryl being an old-fashioned name. The works, basically. Beryl's thorns cajoled my palm as we blew into the street. She suggested we go for food. Finished. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, that's good. That is so I good. love that. Chapters. Uh, get it on Amazon. Chapters by you can't get it on Amazon. <laughs> you have to go to utter and, utter and press dot co.uk oh, well you can go on my Instagram just go on your Instagram it'll, link, it'll link to it there but am I is it they're all free on Instagram so you don't need to buy the book you don't need to buy it I, although I'm starting to delete the ones that I'm putting in the book are you actually so, doing that yeah that's what? clever hey, Buzz, hey, that you're an work. entrepreneur I'm yeah. an entrepreneur yeah, yeah. not yeah. Not in um, the same way no not in the same way no. Tim I um, Jamie Lang I thoroughly enjoyed you this. should write a poem called Jamie Lang yeah yeah can you please yeah can you do that and tomorrow then I, and I, will, on I will write one about you yeah I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Oh. Here we go. I'm going to go home this evening mm -hmm. and I'm going to write a poem mm -hmm. and I'm going to post it mm -hmm. on Instagram mm -hmm. and Twitter mm -hmm. tomorrow morning mm -hmm. and you're going to rate it and it's going to be about you. Tick key is a good word to rhyme with Great. as well, isn't it? So is Tim. Tim. So is it going to rhyme? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's going to rhyme. It's gonna, oh, boy, it's going to rhyme. Day. Key. Doesn't rhyme. Day. Day. D-A-I. Tim. D-A-I. Now. Tim rhymes with um, <laughs> limb. Yeah, does actually. Dim. 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 Yeah. Shin. Rim. Shin, not quite, but yeah, half rhyme. Uh, quim. Yep, yeah, Quim it rhymes with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jim. 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 Yeah, Tim rhymes with Jim. Yeah, other name. And Key rhymes with Fleet. Fleet. Yeah. <laughs> Fleet. <laughs> All right. So, um, Tim, I want to say a big thank you for coming on Private Parts. Real um, absolute pleasure. I would honestly. A real absolute pleasure. It has, has it been. been uh, uh, as horrible as he thought. No, I've enjoyed it. I know you have. He's loved it. I do want to encourage everyone who's listening or watching this, go and grab. It's for free. It's not free. <laughs> <laughs> do you need to know the price point? Uh, it's one ninety nine. Mm. <laughs> is it seven ninety nine? Well, how much how is much, it? How much would you charge for that? Twelve ninety nine. You're the ad man. Twelve ninety nine. Would you? Eight ninety nine. I think it's ten pounds. Fifteen. 15. Fifteen. Don't say it like that. Fifteen. 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 These people are fucking mugs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but I but as in, I think it's worth every penny. Go and get Tim it's Keys. Beautifully designed. Mm. Chapters. It's beautifully designed. Uh and there's a poem about me in it. Not quite. There yeah. will be. Mm. Chapters two, maybe. You, you can open out that bit at the back. There's that sort of opens. Oh, up. this is nice. Also by Tim Key. Oh no, this is no. Oh, here we go. Uh, the reek of red wine, the thick, the air thick with franks and sophistication. Dua belle personnes. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> All right. Oh look, there's a little. I think there's people sort of now a... taking it out of their basket. <laughs> <There's> a... <laughs> this is good. All right, go and get his book. Tim Key chats. We'll leave the link in description to his Instagram. Actually, okay. do you know what? Can you link and describe something else? Yeah. Uh, you know Are you my. Your tour? No, 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 not my tour. I'm done with that stuff. <laughs> Okay. These poems, like, uh, you know, this is what my poems look like when I read them on stage, these ones. In your in little card? You, so you get cards? Yeah, and I read them out. And you read them out? And then... Um, Can we I've, buy those? Well, this is the thing. I've teamed up with a gallery, and at the gallery, they're making, um, you know, they're blowing them up, yeah. and you and you can buy, like, a print of them. That's fantastic. And, th and that's called Stowe Galleries, also on my Instagram. Where is that? Stowe Galleries. Stowe Galleries. Well, it's in somewhere, like, in the Cotswolds or something. Stowe. Uh, near Bybury? What? Near what? <laughs> It'll be near Bybury. Bybury? Yeah. Bybury. What's in the Cotswolds, everyone? Do you remember that? Um, what the fuck is Bybury? It's in the Cotswolds. Bybury? What the fuck is Stowe you, Gallery? I, I what think, the I fuck? Think, Are we ending this podcast talking about Bybury? <laughs> I, think, I think you've mispronounced Bybury. It's Bybury. Bybury? Yes, Bybury. Do you mean Banbury? No, that's another place in the Cotswolds. What's anyway. he trying to say? I think, you, I think he's having a hard set. All right, everybody, listen. i got to go and check. Bybury. Bybury. Okay, I want to get... These cards are great. This also in uh, Tim's description. Shall I give you an example? Yeah, can you end this with... Why don't you end end the podcast yeah. with a poem from one of the cards that you yeah. can buy? Here P we go. With a what? With one of the cards. cards but, but how did you say poem? Poem. I thought you poem. said poem. It's poem. Yeah. You said wow. Bybury. Uh, well, what do you say? Poem. Poem. What, and you? Poem. Ooh. Poem. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> are you from Bybury? <laughs> 
Do it. Do it straight. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna, I'm do, it. do it. Okay. Hang on. Do Here it straight we... down camera one. Leading us out of private parts for the last time. Uh, <laughs> That's good. Yeah. It's Tim. Key, Key. come on. <laughs> I just, just, I'm, I'm, be across I'm, stuff. Gonna, I'm gonna take it straight here. Leading us out of the podcast, uh, thank you everybody for listening. To end it with the wonderful Timothy Key. Here he goes. Colette gave birth to an adult. She was devastated. She bought cots and stuff. Lionel was in his late 30s. He kept talking about the Bross documentary and going travelling. Finished. <laughs> Tim Key, thank you very much. <laughs> we'll see you next me. week, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, Tim, that was genius, buddy. Oh, so funny. Thanks so much for having me.